Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about the effects of high blood sugar on your arteries and your vascular system. Okay? Do you realize that 70% of all deaths from diabetes involve the vascular system? So that's why I'm doing this video because 70% of all deaths from diabetes, that's a huge bunch of people. So why not talk about this specific thing? Now, there's a couple things that happen uh, in relationship to high sugar and what it does to the arteries. Number one, it makes the capillary walls thicker, okay? It makes the walls of the blood vessels thicker. And the name for that is called arterial sclerosis, which is hardening of the arteries and where the arteries become very stiff. So you're also gonna see high blood pressure because there's no elasticity anymore and you're gonna see edema in the ankles and the feet. So if you were to press on the foot, it leaves a dent. It's called pitting edema because the loss of this capillary function. All right, number two, you're also gonna have placking. And placking is the end result of damage within the arteries where the body starts accumulating cholesterol deposits, protein, and calcium as a band-aid to heal the area. But it forms a plaque, and that is called atherosclerosis, okay? Which blocks the coronary artery of the heart, and it's gonna cause chest pain, it's called angina, and diabetics are four times more likely to develop just simply because high blood sugars, and that's what a diabetic is. They have high blood sugars. That's why they have to take medication. What's interesting to me is that if you look up atherosclerosis, they would say the cause is unknown. They don't know what the cause is, okay? But there's risk factors of diabetes and obesity and smoking and things like that. Well, I'm gonna show you my favorite book here called SIBA, Encyclopedia of Endocrinology, volume four. And uh, on page 164, uh, they have different pages that describe different aspects of insulin. And the one I wanna talk about is called Diabetic Micro angiopathy. Okay, so let's see what Frank Netter says about this. Um, high blood glucose causes a thickening of the basement membrane of the capillaries of the arteries. So it basically makes the arteries and capillaries thicker, okay? So we do know now the relationship here. Um, in fact, diabetics are three times more likely to have thicker arteries. It goes on to say that it dumps protein into the arteries, uh, vascular changes of the retina, that's the eye, and accumulation of protein in the walls of the small blood vessels. It affects the microcirculation of many organs. Yeah, so right here, it talks about the accumulation of placking and also the thickening of the walls. So high blood sugar is the cause because there's a dysfunction with insulin. So the best thing to do is if you're a diabetic, make sure that you do everything you can to bring these sugars down naturally and improve the underlying cause of this, which is high levels of insulin that then lose their function and then it can't control it anymore, okay? I put a little link down below of some great information on what to eat to support healthy blood sugars. Check it out. Hey, if you're interested in finding out the underlying cause of your body issues, click the link below and take the evaluation quiz.